legend sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So it is a weekend. It's a sunny Sunday outside, but unfortunately I've had a pretty rough week and I've just been feeling so off, like the lockdown dragging on. I had some issues at work. I had some personal issues and it all just kind of added up and I pretty much spent my Friday night just at home crying and being in a really bad headspace. So I want to do something that is a little bit of a self-care activity, but also just a beautiful apartment upgrade. And that is creating a piece of plaster art. So I haven't done this before. We'll be doing this little DIY together, but I have seen these all over the internet and I think it is an absolutely beautiful way to get a really kind of high end upgrade little piece of art that you've made for your own home. And you really only need a handful of things. So I'm going to show you everything that I bought. I will link them all down below as well, in case you want to grab all of that stuff and do it yourself. But I'm hoping this will be a really, really quick and easy one. And it is to replace that canvas behind me because when I'm filming, it's really shiny and I just want to have a beautiful matte white piece. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples that I have been finding on Pinterest recently. So basically what I'm looking at is these modern looking arch pieces. They're kind of combed into that beautiful shape and they have that really raw and rough texture of the white plaster. And I just think these look absolutely beautiful and will really, really match in with the aesthetic of my home. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have grabbed myself a cup of tea, which is my favorite little ritual to do. And now I'm just going to show you all the things I've got and we can get started. So this is my little art station that I've set up. I got this big watercolor stretched canvas and it's kind of got a bit of a thickness to it because it already comes backed on a board. And these ones are called a deep edge canvas. So it's 250 GSM. It is 22 by 30 inches, which is roughly 60 by 76 centimeters. So I would say basically like an A1 sheet of paper. And what you're actually going to need is this, which is the multi-purpose filler. And this is what actually is the plaster kind of component of it. It does come with a really basic scraper here on the lid. And I could have just used that, but I've heard that it is better to use a art brush. So I've got this little scraper instead that I also bought from the art store. And this one is just called an artist painting knife and they come in all different shapes and sizes I guess depending on how you want to really draw out the plaster. The final piece to the puzzle and how I'm intending to create the arches is with this kind of combed brush. So this one is called an adhesive spreader and it's in a 10 mil notch. So I'm hoping that this will be able to be kind of dragged across the canvas like that and create the arch shape. But it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. And I do really love these kind of things. I know some people could find this frustrating, but for me, this is so therapeutic and relaxing. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. spring rainbow trout and hummingbird 
by my son Feet step over splinters of the moon So that made a huge mess, but this adhesive spreader was actually excellent for creating the arches. I'm sure there are probably other different techniques and different tools and things that you could use to get that same effect, but this was literally a dollar. So it really did the job for what I was after. I was actually initially really stressed that I didn't have enough plaster because once I spread it all out on the canvas, I thought that it was all gone. But as you can see, since using the scraper, quite a lot of it kind of is left over. So this was just one tub of 500 mils, but I'm not going to lie. I literally did Google halfway through if any stores around me were open and had some more because I honestly thought I needed more than that. So I'm standing up on a chair so I can show you guys, but this is her and I think she's really pretty. I'm really, really happy with this. It kind of takes a little bit of a steady hand, I guess, to do the arch. So some of them are a little bit wonky, but to be honest, I think that kind of just adds to the overall effect. And this bottom corner arch, I went over it three times because I really wanted it to have that kind of degraded look as opposed to this central one, which I just did one clean scoop. And then these other ones I thought looked really nice to be kind of overlapping and to leave a little bit of that messy plaster texture kind of sticking out. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden. So the instructions say that I have to leave it now for three hours to dry. So that is quite a long time and I'm quite an impatient person. So I think the best thing for me is to clean up this entire space and make sure no plaster spilled onto my table, which a little bit of it did. So I need to get to that right now before it dries. And I'm just gonna make myself some lunch and then we can look at attaching the hanging kit to the back of it and popping it up on my wall. So this is the spot that I'm looking to replace the canvas because this frame, I just printed a print online. And as you can see, it's extremely reflective of my window behind, which for me when I'm filming YouTube videos is very annoying. So I'm gonna do a quick transition and we can update this to my beautiful new painting. And now it's dry in three, two, one. Golden thing. In spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird. 
so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I absolutely love doing little DIYs around my home. So if you have anything else you want me to try or any other ideas, let me know. But I do have a ton more of these on the way because I just really love having those custom kind of pieces that I've had a little part in around my home because I just think they tell a really beautiful story when your guests come over. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, then,